Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited because I've been here at base camp and getting some things taken care of with my van, but while I have, it's given me an opportunity to start planning for my future travels. In doing so, it's going to be hot this summer, and so I wanted to start to consider the things that I would be putting back in the van once I get the van back. And one of the things that I always pack in the van, obviously, are clothes, because I have to wear things whenever I'm traveling. Now, many of you have seen my channel for a while, and you know that I really enjoy wearing either leggings or loose fitting like comfy clothes. A lot of times during summertime I'll wear these like rompers. I've also enjoyed traveling with some sundresses because whenever I've gone to the beach or even again in interior like urban spaces it's a nice way to stay cool and also allows me to wear like a hat because a lot of times as we experienced on this last trip I can get a lot of sun exposure because I'm pretty fair. So I try to cover up not only with sunscreen, but also a hat, especially on my head because it's a little bit more sensitive. But I decided this year I was gonna try something a little bit different. And so um, I had the opportunity to pick up a few things and I'm gonna show them to you while we talk a little bit about travel. Now, what am I talking about? I am talking about Timu. Timu actually was kind enough to reach out to me and say, hey, we noticed that during summertime, you like to do something a little bit different. Would you like to try out some of our things? So I said, sure. So today I'm gonna show you what exactly Timu is about while we talk about travel. Now, I'm kind of excited about this because supposedly Timu is an affordable place to shop, but they also have fast shipping. And so you can get a lot of items in a short amount of time. Now. I have previously gone through the rigmarole of looking for things and had not the best luck with ordering online. A lot of times I'll fall into like Amazon. The only problem with that is I can get it shipped to me and I might even like what I got and I can ship it back if I don't. However, the consistency of sizing on Amazon is poor at best because there are so many different vendors. And so it makes it a little bit harder for me to find things that I really like for summer wear especially. And if I'm not gonna be at base camp, realistically, that's not really a factor that I can put that time and effort into. I've also shopped at Shein before and Shein is one of those things that you may get your stuff in a week, you may get it in a month. You never know. They do have things that are for curvier people like myself though, and their sizing, in my opinion, has been more consistent. But then I found AliExpress. AliExpress is a company that ships from abroad. The only problem with that is, well, there's two problems actually. Number one, whenever I've purchased things previously from AliExpress, it takes forever to get here. I may have something that I order in one month and it may take four months to get here. It may take two weeks to get here. There's no consistency at all, and a lot of times the tracking does not work. The other thing I've noticed is the sizing is not as inclusive. So a lot of times if you get a large or an extra large size, that may be a large or an extra large that is still very, very tiny. And so as a result, I wanted to try out Timu and give them a shot. You know, a lot of people have been talking very nicely about them on the internet, so let's see how they do with clothes. Now, this package came in five days after I ordered it, just five. It did not take long at all. And this is exactly what the package looked like. You can see it's taped together on the sides. This is supposed to be four different items and it's pretty sizable and it's pretty weighty, actually. I was very impressed by the weight of of this. Now, when I purchased things previously from any of those three places, the weight isn't always there. And you know, whenever you're looking at clothing, sometimes the weight does matter because that means the fabric is a better quality of fabric. Now, you can order things from any of those and you could have a nice item or you could have a terrible item. So again, this is why I wanted to do this. But before we open this package, let's talk a little bit more about why I change out my wardrobe and why I think you guys should be considering doing the same thing. And in order to do that, I want to start off with this pair of pants right here. These are just some that I picked up at a store. Now, these are a nice breathable material. Breathable materials are very important during the summer months and whenever you're packing your vehicle, you want to make sure that you have materials that are going to work best for you based on where you're going to be. Me being from Texas, it's hot and it's muggy and it's gross and it's sticky. And so 
Materials like this are so important in those kinds of climates because what they do is they allow your body to expel the heat and not just keep it in. And that is very important during the summer months. Now on the other side of that, during the winter months, you wanna keep your heat in. So you wanna wear things that are going to do that. So wools are really good for keeping the heat, but also expelling the moisture. Also fleece, really good for winter time, really bad for summertime. So winter clothes a lot of times are a lot more bulky to pack. And because of that, if you're going for an extended amount of time and you don't wanna be doing laundry all the time, Having a good rotation that you can do if you do have access to like a base camp is something that is so handy. Now, I do want to preface this entire video by saying when I think about my wardrobe, I do consider that I may have cooler nights on a warmer day or I may have a day that is just like this random fluke warm day when I'm traveling during cooler months. So I always keep at least one or two small items that can transition just for that. So I'm not saying get rid of everything. I'm saying when you're thinking of packing, think about all of the different variables. It's very important. Now on a previous video, I unwrapped these. These were actually sent to me. These are wise to have with you year round because even though they're fluffy and fuzzy, a lot of times whenever you do lose your heat, you lose it through your feet and your head. So I always recommend keeping a good fuzzy pair of socks and also a beanie in your van at all times. In addition, always keep a jacket. Whether it is one that's super fluffy or not, it doesn't really matter. You just need to be able to have a layer. And typically I have two different jackets that I keep with me. I have one that is a puffer that can fold down and take up very little space. And then I have another one that is a lightweight, more like windbreaker. And both of those can fit in the van easily, especially since I have the roof box. Having that variety with you will guarantee that if you get stuck in some random place, you're still prepared. I also always keep at least one hoodie in my van at any given time because at nighttime the temperatures can dip down but also that way if for some reason I go into a place that happens to be super cold I have a layer and you can either use just a regular hoodie or a zip up hoodie either one but definitely have at least one jacket at least one kind of hoodie and then also at least one pair of fuzzy socks and a beanie at any given time. Now on the flip side of that, always keep at least one pair of shorts or lightweight pants in your vehicle. It doesn't necessarily have to be that you have a ton of them, but at least one, because you will have a flu hot day, even during the winter time sometimes where you're like, oh my gosh, I am dying. And being able to control your heat and also your output are very important for regulating, especially during those times. For example, if you're out on a super sunny day in winter and it's freezing cold, you still can get sunburn. And then when you're sitting in your vehicle, as a result, you could be too hot. Putting on a pair of shorts can alleviate some of that heat from your body and allow you to cool off and not feel like you're overheating. So I hope you can see why it's important to have those items. But other things that I suggest you always keep with you are a bathing suit. And uh, a bathing suit is good because whether you go to a hot spring during the winter or a lake during the summer, it's gonna be a nice thing to have. So uh, those are the staples that you should always have. Now, in addition, of course, you're going to want to pack things that are moisture wicking. So moisture wicking socks, potentially moisture wicking underwear, those are super handy. Those are also very good for van life because whether you're in that weird chilly damp or you're hiking and working up a sweat, both of those things are going to require you to get the moisture away from your body in order to maintain your body temperature at a correct temperature that's comfortable. So moisture wicking materials are very good. But let's get to it. Let's open the Timu bag. It looks as though each individual item is packed in its own individual bag. So let's pull them out. Okay guys, there should be four all together. And it looks as though, first one, they each have their own bag. This is actually a reusable bag. It's a nice quality. And so we could actually put this back into the van and use it as a storage bag, which I think is great because that means we're going to limit some of the waste. So here's one of them. And then let's see, let's keep going. Oh, this one's a little more stuck in here. Oh, this one. Oh, there's two of them connected here, no wonder. So here's this one right here. And then there's this one. And then last but not least, this one right here. Okay, so for this, 
I am currently wearing just like some scrubby clothes because I've been cleaning and stuff. So um, I'm going to show you what each of these things look like first and then I'll do like a full try on after I put myself together a little bit. And we can look at each one of them and see how they fit and also feel. Now the first one that I have here, I'm going to show you um, what it looks like. These are pants. And I can say that I feel like these don't have a lot of stretch to them, um, but they do feel like a really nice material. Okay, I'm looking to see if there's a tag and it says that there is. Um, this is a wash tag in here. It says it's 100% polyester and that these are machine wash, cold, gentle with um, like colors, non-chlorine bleach when needed. Okay, so it does have all the wash instructions and everything. They do have pockets, which is really nice. And so I love a good pants with pockets. Now these are supposed to be like a harem pant, like a short harem pant. Um, I can definitely see that they are going to be a little see-through potentially though. Um, can you guys see this? It's kind of hard to see, but I can see you guys through them just a little. Now that doesn't necessarily mean anything bad because I don't think that if you're wearing them, you're gonna be able to see all the business. But um, yeah, so this is a good one to try out. Again, I'm not sure if these are going to fit though. Okay, this next one has a completely different feel to it. This one is more of a slick material. Again, very thin and breathable. That's what I was looking for were breathable materials that would have ooh, a bit more stretch in this one. And this item right here is a romper. So more similar to what I was showing you in the original that I like to go with. So we have this here. It's just a little romper and has straps on the top up here. Um, the straps are pretty thin, but they seem to be decent. Um, I don't see anything weird going on with it so far. And again, this is just me showing you kind of what we have going on. And um, yeah, so this is what it looks like with the print. It looks pretty true to the actual photo. Again, we have pockets. Now, a lot of you are asking, who cares about pockets? What's going on with pockets? Well, the reason why I always try to buy things with pockets is because a lot of times I carry camera equipment with me and a GoPro is about this big. If I can shove it in a pocket while I'm walking around and not have to deal with putting it back in a bag every time, it's so much more handy. Even though I do carry a really nice sling bag that I can position in front of me, sometimes if I can just grab and go and throw it in the pocket, we're doing good. So um, we'll try this on too. I'm, I'm optimistic about this. One. Now this next one is my alma mater colors maroon and white, so burgundy and white. And um, this one is, it doesn't have any weird smells or anything because I know a lot of times whenever I get things shipped, they smell weird. Um, this does not. Um, finding the bottom of it is gonna be interesting. This is actually just a sundress and it's just supposed to be a loose sundress. I do like the fact that it also has pockets, but um, at the same time, it's just a regular little sundress. Now, one thing I will say, and this is just me being nitpicky, on the back itself, where it has the seaming, what do you notice? Yeah, the seams don't line up. So that's a nitpicky thing. Again, that may or may not be anything that bothers you guys. Um, more than likely, I probably won't care on this one, uh, just because it's supposed to be like a loose dress. Now, whenever we pull the material, um, the color lightens a bit, but it doesn't completely fade out. And I can see a little bit through this, but not a lot. So that's actually pretty typical for these kind of dresses in general. Okay, last but not least, we have this one right here. And again, this feels a little bit different. None of the materials feel the same, but I kind of wanted to try a selection of different kinds so I could see what I like and I don't like. This one feels a bit more cool to the touch. Again, this one is just a regular sundress and I'm really into tie-dye because again, self-expression. Um, so this could double as another shower dress or I could just wear this out and about. And I really do like this one. Now this one is, I believe, the only one that did not come with pockets and it's okay, I'm fine with that. The other thing that I noticed about this one that made it a little bit different than the others is the straps themselves. You can actually tie the straps so you can have it a lower fit or a higher fit so that you can make it where it's comfortable to you. Now, 
a lot of times I will urge you guys to keep something like this in your vehicle just because, again, summertime is hot. You can take this to the lake. You can put this over a swimsuit. You can take this and just wear it if it's sticky outside. You can wear this after a shower. These are great options. And again, you'll notice that we had four different outfits in a tiny amount of space. Let me, let me just do some, some folding here, some creative folding really quickly. If I were to take this and I were to put it into my van, this doubles as like four different outfits like, like you just heard. And I can take this and it fits into a tiny little thing that is this big. So if I have one dedicated space for these and I either flat lay them like this or I roll them, I could probably put 10 different things like this in my van versus more bulky items like the sweaters that I have during winter. So during summertime, because you are sweating, you're going to be going through more clothing. And unless you wanna do laundry, this is a good way for you to have easy things that take up less room. Now again, I'll do a try on for those after I put myself together a little bit so you guys can see what they actually look like. But I'm very excited so far. I'm a little skeptical on one of the pairs of pants uh, but that's okay. It, it is what it is. We'll figure out, we'll live, we'll learn, or we'll return. That's what we're going to say. Live, learn, or return. But let's talk about a few other things when it comes to organization of clothing items in your vehicle. Let me show you what I use. Do you see my shelf right here? Well, guess what? These same bins that go in these little cube shelves like this, I use in my van. And I do this so that I can keep everything in a structured and organized way. Now, again, I like these because I can use them pretty much anywhere. So even if I stop using them in my van, I have a good place for them here at base camp. But each one of these little 10 and a half by 10 and a half bins holds a lot of stuff. And I use a t-shirt folder to fold all of my shirts to go in the bins. Now, normally this is the time where I would go to the van and I'd show you, but I can't because the van's in the shop. So I actually have a couple of videos about organization here on the channel where you can see the t-shirt folder and I also have a laundry video that you can see the t-shirt folder. I found it on Van City Van Life's channel and I have not turned back since. In fact, folding the clothes using this particular method means that I can stack 14 t-shirts like these in one of these tiny little bins. And so that allows me 14 days of clothing without having to do laundry. So that way I'm not having to be at the laundromat once a week because I really hate doing that. Not to mention, I can put 25 pairs of leggings in one of these. Now, do I always wear leggings? No, I like to wear outdoor pants, which have pockets. And I found that actually Walmart has some really great ones by Wrangler that are awesome. And you can find them in the men's department. I know it's in the men's department, but believe it or not, those actually fit curvy bodies better than the ones that they carry in the women's department. Because for some reason in the women's department, they wanna add a lot of stretch that ends up having like a saggy crotch. That's not fun, guys. I wish that the fashion industry would understand that we want good pants too. And that doesn't mean that we want them sagging down to our knees just so that we can cover our booties. Also, a lot of times the women's ones do not allow you to pick the sizing of the length versus the actual waist. The men's do. And these are just outdoor pants. So who cares if they're in the men's department or the women's department realistically? So let's go over this a little bit more. What am I going to pack when I go back into the van? I'm going to have one nice bin of just t-shirts because we can put 14 in that one stack. I'm going to have one bin of just pants, which means I could have 25 pairs of leggings or I could have 15 pairs or 14 pairs of leggings and a couple of those outdoor pants, which are more of a flat fold. All of that will fit in one of those bins. So if I have three pairs of those flat fold pants and then I have 14 pairs of leggings, guess what? We're not doing laundry for two weeks and that is handy. And then I'm going to have one bin just with my unmentionables. So that's going to be all of the socks, all of the underwear, all of the bras. And also in that I'm going to store my beanie. I'm going to store one pair of gloves and I'm also going to store any bandanas that I might wear because there's plenty of room for all of that in there. So in three bins, I have effectively packed so much stuff for so many adventures 
but I still have one bin left, remember. So in that one other bin, I'm going to put my sundresses, my jeans, my nicer clothes that I'm not gonna wear every day. So those are gonna store in a different place so that I don't have to access them every single day. But when I need them, they are there. Now, my goal for you guys is to think about the things that you're doing and the space that you have. What kind of bins fit for you? How do you want to fold your clothes? Because based on how you fold your clothes, you may be able to have more or less things. I also urge you guys to get a couple of dry bags. Now, the reason why I would like for you to get a couple dry bags, especially if you have a roof box, is that you can put some of the items that you may or may not need all the time. So for example, in my roof box, I have a dry bag that I can put a big fluffy jacket in. Remember how I told you we collapsed that down? It fits up on the roof. If I need it, I just crawl up and grab it. If I don't, it's out of sight, out of mind, not in my space. I also can keep some other things up there. For example, if I need to have a nice pair of heels because I have a special event that I need to go to, I don't want them in my van all the time, but I do want them so they can go up on the roof. And then whenever I'm not having to need them, they're hidden away, tucked up, not bothering me whatsoever. I can also do that with other things. Now, since it will be summertime, I'll also be adding a few pairs of shorts in, and I noticed that I didn't say they were going in either one of those bins. That's because my shorts typically I fold and put in the backs of my pillowcases. So again, they have a space, but they are not in my direct path of need because I'm not gonna wear shorts all the time because for one, my legs are really pale guys and they would likely sunburn and that's not fun. But also because a lot of places that I go, I may not want to wear shorts. So I'm gonna grab for them less often. I put the items that I'm gonna grab for more frequently in a space where I can grab them more easily because it just works out better that way. And I encourage you guys to think in way of how you're packing your vans for what you're going to need to access the most, what you're going to need to access the least, and how you can store all of it in your space. Remember breathable materials during summertime. It's so important to remember breathable materials. We are more likely to overheat and not realize it if we're wearing the incorrect clothing. And so thinking in way of packing is not just about, ooh, what looks nice or ooh, what's cute. It's also about thinking of those things in relation to what is going to be the best for you overall. And so as I'm getting ready to uh, go and do my little try on to share these things with you guys, think about those things and when in doubt, make a list, make a checklist. What do you absolutely need? What you kinda need? And what do you not need at all? And that's how you start your van journey, packing those things. Now, as you're driving along, you may realize, oh my gosh, I never even wore this. And then the next time that you return to your base camp, if you have one, leave it there. Or if you're not at a base camp and you realize you have something in your van that's unnecessary, take it to Goodwill, take it to a donation shelter, take it somewhere and just get it out of your space. If you're not using it, you don't need it. Don't feel like you have to hang on to all the things in your space all the time and make yourself feel cluttered out. Don't do that. Okay guys, I'm gonna go try on these outfits and show you what they look like. We'll see what the quality is from Timu, and uh, we'll see if any of these are keeping it or if any of them are returning. I, I don't know yet. This is this is exciting though. I love slash hate getting new things. Um, I love it because ooh, new things. I hate it because sometimes things don't fit and it can be a little depressing, but we're not gonna be depressed if it doesn't work. We're just gonna move on. We're gonna build a bridge. We're gonna get over it and we're gonna find something else and then we're gonna pack that. And I'll probably share the packing of the actual van with you once I get the van back. So uh, that will be exciting. We'll be organizing, we'll be cleaning, we'll be doing all the things and we'll feel very refreshed. Okay guys, let's get started with how I would style these and what they look like. So the first one, of course, is the flowy dress. I really like this because it's nice and long. In fact, it goes all the way down to my feet. Doesn't quite drag the ground. But because it's sleeveless, I could wear it completely sleeveless, but because I have a weird tan line right here, I would probably wear something like this super flowy, lightweight cardigan that I just picked up at Walmart. I also have a nice summer hat to protect the back of my head. And of course I would wear this with some sunglasses, but this could actually be worn in a variety of different ways. Again, 
you can take off the actual like cover up you can pull it up and knot it to the side if you would like to and that creates a little bit less of a like flow and billow to it and I really like this though because it's super breathable and can be dressed up or down now if I was to go to the beach I could wear it just like this no problems if I wanted to go into town after the beach though I could cover it up and pull together an outfit and the nice thing about like this is I could actually pull this in together a little bit and create even more of a like silhouette as it kind of pulls me in so this gives me a nice look that i could wear anywhere now i could wear this with sandals like i have on currently or i could wear this with a nice shoe if i wanted to also to dress it up just a little bit i would consider this one a huge win and this was super inexpensive i am sad to report that these do not fit it is what it is sometimes you get a hit and sometimes you have a miss they're super cute though. They're super, super cute. This next one also I can layer. So I'm just kind of showing you how I would layer it if I was wearing this as a layered item. This is the maroon and white dress. Now it can be worn by itself and it has a cute little sleeve on it. I'll show you that in just a second. But if I was to wear this, this is how I would wear it if I wanted to dress it up. I would grab a little hat again for sun protection but because also it kind of gives it a little bit of a fun look to it i really enjoy that i like to wear sun protection for my eyes and my head as much as i possibly can just because that's good for you especially if you have less hair um then i have this nice pashmina that i carry with me that can go with a variety of different things you can find something that has a complementary color that'll go with a lot and then you can expand your wardrobe quite a bit for example I can wear this with just black leggings and a black shirt and it gives it a different look I can wear this with gray items as well and then I can also dazzle it up with a little bit of color like this maroon so this is kind of how I would put this together I have a cute little purse that kind of goes with it to keep it in balance and again this is a piece that folds flat as you can see I have it in van mode right now it folds flat and then I can put whatever I want inside of this and it's large enough for me to carry even a camera so if I'm wanting to go for example to a museum and I want to jazz up a regular outfit I can put something like this over it and then just carry a purse as opposed to my actual physical sling bag and this makes it a whole different look so that I am considered more acceptable by society that's right finding outfits that work and integrate into the different things that you do can change the perspective that people have based on where you're traveling to for example again like the last look if i was at the beach i could have just had it out and about i could have used it as a swimsuit cover-up but whenever i go into town i want to look a little bit more put together so by adding a simple layer to this it really changes everything for example my hair is a mess today putting on a hat really fixes that but if I take the hat off you'll notice how much different it looks just by changing that one component now in my personal van I keep a couple of small hats basic colors I have a tan and I have a black it doesn't take up a lot of room because they just magnet straight to the wall and then I can pop them on for a little bit of added coverage and also to express myself differently when I go from place to place like I said interchangeable items it's the minimalist mentality with a slightly more maximalist look so if I were to take this off and I were to take these off looky looky we now look like we could go and have dinner at a nicer restaurant and not look like a scrub coming out of a van the biggest thing that you'll notice whenever you're doing van life is that people want to project their own thoughts of who you are onto you based on where you're coming from and what you're getting there in if somebody sees you roll up in a van and they know you live there they're instantly going to think things and there's nothing you can do about it however if you pull up in a van and you pop out looking like you got your life together they're less likely to uh assume that you're going to be some kind of vagrant problem to them so that's why i always say finding things that work for you is a great way to do this and also to maximize your impact on your wardrobe so for example pashmina off 
And guess what? Now we have just a cute dress. We just need to adjust our little sleeves a little bit. And this is a perfectly acceptable outfit just to wear also. But again, just by layering those tiny things, it's a huge impact on your wardrobe. Now, another thing that I really liked about this dress is it has pockets. <laughs> We love a good pocket because I can put whatever I need to in there. And this fits just a little bit higher than the last one. You can see here, it comes up to the top part of my ankle. I can wear this easily with some sandals. I could even put some low sneakers on with this one and do my business and be great. Now, is this next one for everyone? Absolutely not, but the way I have it styled is fun for me. Now, I like a good pants suit romper. So I found this pants suit romper right here and I really liked it because it's super flowy and has pockets. Again, super thin material, so perfect for summertime and uh, I always like to be able to dress things up and down. So again, the hat, the sunglasses, and another one of these little thin cardigans. I love bright colors, this is super me, and I think you can see why. Now, the material on this one has a white background. With that said, a little more see-through than I'd probably love it to be. So that's why I definitely wanted to pair it with something like this, so that you guys could see what it looks like, but then also how I personally would wear it. Now again, it's all about finding pieces that work together. For example, my leggings and my shirts. Almost all of them are interchangeable in some way, shape, or form. Same thing with my fancy clothes. My fancy clothes have to get more than one wear if I'm going to put them in the van. That way I can have a lot of different value. I would like to be able to take an outfit like this from where I'm out and about in the sun and be able to put it into play where I could then go to eat or do a video in a place that needs a little bit more sophistication. I could wear something like this pretty much anywhere and is it gonna be everybody's cup of tea? Absolutely not. But does it make sense and have a style and function? Yes. Therefore, it looks like it's supposed to be and it's not just athleisure. It's a lightweight material that is comfortable and breathable for summer, but at the same time can go in places that maybe well, let's just be honest, my leggings cannot. I always keep my adventure clothes and my fancy clothes so that I can interchange that lifestyle for myself personally. Now, the reason why I do this is because I like to go to a variety of different places and I don't like to limit myself. Some places do require you to button up just a little bit. In other words, they want you to come in looking like you belong there as opposed to rolling out of bed and walking in from your van. And I kind of discussed that a little bit earlier but reality is that is definitely something that you see in some areas, especially when you're traveling there. Especially if you wanna to go to places that are a little bit more well known for their higher end restaurants, their higher end like hotels and things like that. Even if they have tons of camping around, they wanna see you coming into that place looking like you fit in and belong. For example, Aspen. I love Aspen. However, Aspen definitely has an elitist culture based on the income of most of the people who live there. At the same time, they have some amazing campgrounds around. So you can go out and be at the campground and wear your athleisure clothes, doing all of the hiking, the biking, the climbing, the, all the cool stuff. But then whenever you come into town, just by wearing something that looks like you took some time and put in a little bit of effort, it does make all the difference between you parking your van on the street and getting harassed or you parking your van on the street and being welcome with open arms to spend your money. That's right. <laughs> I hope this video though guys is helpful to you to kind of understand how I pack. I do have a rotating wardrobe from summer to winter. I do interchange items. I carry a lot of lightweight things that I can overlay even during the winter time. I have some basics that I do but also I hope that this gives you an idea as to what Timu is all about. Timu is a wonderful and valid way to get some really nice fast fashion. Now is fast fashion the best? Not always. However, whenever you're looking for something, sometimes it can be a little bit more limiting in stores these days. So being able to trust and rely that you can ship something and it get there fast, that's kind of a win.
Korean in my book. So thank you Timu for sending me these items and helping me to share my summer haul with everyone, but also to engage the conversation about summer versus winter attire. I think it's important that we find what works best for us, whether that's minimalist, maximalist, or a nice little hybrid. I think that we can all find something that is of interest to us and integrate the pieces that we enjoy that make us feel the most vibrant and alive, like bright colors for me, as you can possible. I think that that's so important. Your clothing is directly related to your self-expression. And if you're feeling good and you're expressing yourself, your journey is going to be all the more fun. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. I hope these tips were helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.